My name is Aaron Lodge, most people know me as Bodge and this afternoon we are sat outside Threads with Danny Drummond. How are you mate? Alright man. Yeah and as part of this Jamaica mini series we are going to different businesses, people that have a, a connection to, to Jamaica and its heritage and as we travel out to Kingston next week with mm. Oval Mackenzie we wanted to speak to the people of Derby about what it means to be Jamaican mm. and uh, you were someone that I was quite keen to come and sit down with and, and have a chat, mate. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm only half Jamaican, but my better half. <laughs> <laughs> but I still, I still love the, the Jamaican culture and live by it. And yeah. just I wish I was going myself, do you know what I mean? So. I'm, I'm, I've definitely had that feeling from people that, mm. that it's a big trip to be able to get oh, over it's massive, there. And massive, yeah. It's like once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. We feel really lucky. And that's why I wanted to, to speak to certain people and, and like, yeah really get a sense of, of how proud they are to, every, every to be Jamaican from Jamaican I know always goes on about going home. They, they always want to go home. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. you're going to enjoy it. 100%. And the, the vibrancy that comes off that, mm. that kind of the, the individualism that comes through the fashion. You, yeah. You've had a, a vintage shop now for seven and a half years, yep. all in. Yeah. Like, how much do you think your heritage has, has shaped the way that you've, you've now built your yeah. business to this point? Well... Streetwear in general uh, obviously is influenced a lot by like Jamaican culture, like yeah. reggae music and things like that. You can see it in the skatewear and do you know what I mean? So yeah. like it's, my take on vintage is, comes from like the urban side of it. That's yeah. come from me, me seeing like my dad, the way he used to dress and the swag he had and things. And that's what that's where, where my influence comes in vintage from, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's something that you probably passed down to, to your kids as well, yeah. I'm assuming. And and you yeah, try yeah. and stay very true to yeah let them let them know that they're people of color as well and they're going to be people of color in other people's eyes and they forget about your heritage and yeah. you know what i mean so yeah. embrace it the food how have you seen derby change and shape over say 20 30 um, years that... um it used to be like back in the day it was like difficult like for some black people but now yeah. i think we're definitely definitely more accepted because they know that um jamaicans don't come over to lay about they're working hard working people to make a difference yeah. to the community that they're in they get it they embrace the they embrace english culture as well do you know what i mean so like they don't come over and just like try and turn it into jamaica they just do it do it do england in the jamaican style <laughs> yeah with with a yeah, jamaican, with a jamaican twist, twist kind of thing you know what i mean so yeah. you gotta you gotta you gotta love black people you gotta love jamaican in general <laughs> if you don't there's something wrong with you 100 <laughs> percent, mate and, and this is why when we get over there next week um the food the music oh. um the weather, obviously, we've yeah. been quite blessed today. That actually yeah. it's shaped up quite nicely for this time of year. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very much looking forward to getting yeah. over there, mate. I, I, I envy you, mate. You're going to be seeing the beach. You're going to be seeing the people selling stuff. My dad used to like catch fish and sell fresh fish, cook fish on the yeah, beach yeah, and sell them yeah. there and then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fresh fish and yeah. you're going to see all sorts, man. The smell of yeah. ganja in the air. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not that <I> can do, <laughs> no. <laughs> but it is a part it's of part of of, culture, of yeah. that everything yeah, that happens there. Yeah, hundred percent. Have you got plans yourself? Are you are you hoping to? Uh, one day, like, I've not been since I was like eight years old. But like, yeah. obviously, one day I want to go back there, and I've still got family over there to go and see and stuff. So uh, yeah. it's, like, it's not like I would have no one to go and see if I go back. But it's just um, this place is getting this piece place busy. Is, I'm wrapped up in that in a minute. Yeah. But one day, yeah, I want to go back yeah. and obviously meet the rest of my family. And you got a lot of big plans for for threads going forward you've, you've been working on a few different bits and bobs trying to always make it better like, i can't yeah. just like sit and let it be stagnant i'm trying to make it better and better to, so it gets to the point where i'm happy with it like i can hopefully then open up a second shop yep second shop but at the minute i don't feel like it's quite there yet i've got to get this one right before i think about opening the second one up but job is a slow path we all know this yes 100 you know? yeah. if you had one thing that you could say about a way that derby could improve mm. in terms of Derby, Derby people need to do one thing, and that is stop looking for the bad in people and try and look for the good in people. They, they, I feel like they would rather put like laugh at something or put something down better than say what's good about that thing. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the when they stop doing that, they might make progress themselves. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's that's just what I've experienced. Yeah. So elevate, elevate, man. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. like disintegrate. Yeah. Elevate. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Like respect, yeah, respect, so. respect someone for taking a risk and trying to do something rather yes. than waiting for them to fail and laughing at their failure. Mm -hmm. It don't make no sense and the energy mm -hmm. from it's no good either. Yeah, no, it's so. infectious in yeah. that kind of sense. And yeah, well, best of luck going forward, mate. Yeah, man, I appreciate too, the time that 
that you take to give to, to our media yeah, company man. every single time we come here. Yeah. And uh, if you want Luke any Blue, of your vintage, yeah, and, and threads as I'm well. Watching, in the I'm way. watching Jamaica too, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? And uh, we hope we make you proud when we get out there, nah, mate. Nah, sick, man, it'd be sick, man. You get to yeah. see, like, ovals, like, come from ghetto to, like, or it could have been, like, the best if you never was injured, do you know what yeah. I mean? So, it's going to be sick. I look forward to yeah. watching it anyway. So. Yeah, I think his his injury came at a point where he could yeah. have genuinely gone on to be world champion. Being something special. And, the, and the amount of stuff that he does now to come back round and, and try yeah. and give back to the... Community. Well, I can remember like, actually when he was um, he won prize fight and that was like for him to win that twenty five grand and win and beat them three people on that same yeah. night that was an achievement in itself, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah, and apparently he only had a couple of weeks to yeah, train for that. Yeah, like last minute. That's why they call it a little setter because no one didn't want to fight it. Fantastic, Danny. Thank oh, you, mate. Brother. I really, really Rest appreciate that. Best, man. Yes, sir.